Okay, so before we go for the part of the part, which is equation of straight line graph, macam mana kita nak cari, uh, nak form equation straight line graph. Okay, uh, kita tengok dulu, what is the relationship between the points on a straight line and the equation of the line. Okay, so bila kita ada satu straight line, okay, mana-mana point that lies on that line, okay, uh, maknanya kalau ada satu equation straight line kan, let's see here, we have equation straight line here is, Uh, x plus 2y equal to 4 dalam bentuk general form uh, you masukkan uh, y coordinates, you akan dapat x coordinates kalau you masukkan x coordinates you boleh dapatkan y coordinates ok, contoh kat sini kita ada point 40, so kita masukkan point 40 uh, 4 kat sini kita refer kepada x, uh, x coordinates and then 0 is uh, y coordinates so let's say kita masukkan Uh, y coordinates here which is equal to 0 so kita dapat x equal to 4 maknanya kat sini kita boleh dapat value untuk x coordinate lah 4 maknanya betul lah maknanya betul point P berada di atas line ni ok kita check pula point 2 1 so kita masukkan uh, y coordinates 1 and then we get the x coordinates equal to 4 so means that here uh, Dapat kat sini 4 kan? Ha, maknanya bila you masukkan uh, X coordinate tu, you dapat uh, Y coordinate 1. Okay, so you check pula 1, 2. You masukkan balik the equation ni, you dapat 5 dekat sini. You dapat 5 kat sini, tengok kat sini not equal. So, maknanya, okay, bila you mana-mana point yang berada atas line ni, uh, boleh recheck by uh, substituting into the equation given. Okay, so now we go to the part of how to determine the equation of a straight line. So, bila kita nak cari equation straight line, awak mesti ingat, mesti ada value gradient dengan value y-intercept. So, macam mana nak dapatkan value gradient dengan y-intercept ni? Dia mesti ada satu point ataupun dua point ataupun satu uh, gradient dengan satu point. Okay. Uh, so, cara dia, so first thing first, kena determine dulu value of gradient. Kadang-kadang value gradient dah given, kadang-kadang dia tak bagi. So, you kena calculate. Second part, as you kena determine a point which the straight line passes through. Maknanya mana-mana point kena tentukan apa-apa point yang berada di atas line tu. You kena ambil lah sama ada dia given ataupun you cari sendiri atas line tu lah. Okay, and then you substitute the value of gradient yang you dapat daripada satu tadi, step one. And then you masukkan x coordinate and y coordinate daripada point step two tadi. Okay, and then masukkan ke dalam, ke dalam equation gradient form ni, y equal to mx plus c. Uh, to determine the value of c, okay, which is the y intercept. So, bila you dah dapatkan gradient, you dapatkan value uh, y intercept. So, you masukkan balik ke dalam... Uh, this form y equal to mx plus c so siap dah so finish how to determine the equation of straight line so kita tengok kepada contoh yang pertama ok determine equation straight line with the gradient of 1 over 2 and that passes the truth is 8 uh, so kat sini kita dah ada step 1 tadi which is determine the gradient so we have the gradient 1 over 2 ok and then kita ada step kedua which is um, determine the point so we have point 6 8 Okay, and then uh, step ketiga ialah kita masukkan value gradient dengan point x coordinate y coordinate ke dalam y equal to mx plus c. So, masukkan m dulu, 1 over 2x plus c. So, sekarang ni kita akan masukkan x dengan y coordinates. Okay, x coordinates, y coordinates. Okay, you masukkan value x dengan y kat sini sebab you nak dapatkan value c. Okay, so kita masukkan value dia. 8, 1 over 2, 6 here plus C. Okay, and then uh, 8 minus 3 equal to 5 which is equal to C. So, you dapat value C. So, bila you dah ada value M, value C, masukkan balik ke dalam gradient form. Okay, so M is equal to 1 over 2. And then C is equal to 5. So, dah siap you punya equation of straight line. Kan senang. Okay. So, now uh, dapatlah equation ni. Boleh tengok value dia. Okay. Second one. Kita tengok ni. Kita ada uh, example kedua. Kita find the equation of straight line that passes through point uh, P and point Q. 
Okay, sekarang dia tak bagi awak gradient. Tapi dia bagi, dia kata, this two point ni, okay, straight line ni, dia melalui dua point P dengan Q. Okay, point P dengan Q. Jadi, kita go for the first step tadi, which is determine the gradient. Kita kena determine gradient. So, kita determine gradient. Uh, masukkan ke dalam formula. M, Y2 minus Y1 over X2 minus X1. Kita masukkan dalam formula gradient. Dengan menggunakan point yang diberi ni. Okay, so let's say this one is X1, Y1. And this one is X2, Y2. So, kita ambil point negative 7 minus 5. Divide with 2 minus minus 1. Okay. So, negative 12. 3. So, we get negative 4. So, we get the value for gradient is negative 4. Okay. Macam soalan tadi, dia dah bagi awak gradient. So, lagi mudah lah. Okay. And the second one is determine the point. So, sekarang ni, kita ada dua point. Uh, which is point P uh, and point Q. So, you can take mana-mana point lah. And you can take point P or point 2. Either one. Tak boleh ambil kedua-duanya. Mesti ambil salah satu. So kat sini saya akan determine. Saya akan ambil point P. Which is negative 1, 5. So bila dah determine point. Substitute into Y equal to MX plus C to get the value C. So uh, kita masukkan dulu uh, gradient tadi. Negative 4 X plus C. And then kita masukkan uh, uh, point kat sini. Y coordinates 5. And then X coordinates negative 1. Okay. So we got 4 plus C. So bawa ke sebelah C. So we get uh, C equal to 1. Eh? 5 minus 4 equal to 1. So dah dapat value C. Dah dapat value Y intercept. Dah ada value gradient. So masukkan balik kepada Y equal to MX plus C tadi. So, y, m is negative 4, x and then c is equal to 1. So, dah siap. Okay. This is how we want to determine the equation of straight line. So, kita tengoklah contoh dekat sini. Kita boleh cari guna uh, passing through point 0, 3 and 4, 5. So, cari yang sama lah. You kena cari gradient dulu. Lepas tu, dapatkan any point to tentukan y intercept dia. Okay, and then you masukkan kepada equation. Okay. So, untuk kes yang ni, dia boleh terus ambil point 03 ni. Okay, untuk dapatkan Y intercept. Okay, sebab apa? Y intercept uh, adalah point yang melalui pada part C. Sorry, sini part C Y. Okay, bila lalu pada part C Y, automatically uh, X coordinate dia 0. Okay, mana-mana point yang X coordinate 0, Y coordinate dia itu ialah sama dengan Y intercept. Okay, kalau mana-mana point uh, ada y, y coordinates dia 0, kalau y coordinates 0, so value x coordinates here is actually the value for x intercept. Okay, uh, ini ialah x coordinates 0. So, hindi dia bila ni nak cari uh, y intercept, okay, awak hanya masukkan value x sama dengan kosong. Okay, so ini point and ada uh, example. Okay, so I'm going to try to do the gradient. Okay, we get a gradient is negative 1 over 3. And then uh, we choose any point. So, they ambil point 0.52 and substitute to get a value of C. So, we dah ada M, dah ada C, masa kembali kepada equation. So, itu sajalah what is all about equation of straight line.